Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at Zendesk integrating with WhatsApp. Boom. Jesus Christ, this has been a, a really tough thing to do because, uh, well, I don't know if you've done this integration before, but it's a, it's a, it gives you a pretty big headache. Now, before we begin, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, I have to say I have went to hell and I came back and I have come with uh, the instructions on how to do this uh, integration properly. Now, it's not so much on the Zenda side as it is on the, on the Meta side. So Meta being the owner of Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and soon everything, I don't know, or whatever. Anyway, I don't like monopolies, but what can you do? Anyways, so if you're doing it for if you're doing it for the first time, it should be relatively straightforward. I am biting my tongue when I say this; it's not that straightforward. But I'm going to try to break it down for you, so it uh, it's going to make more sense. But if you're doing it first time, um, I have, I'm going to show you how to do it. I if you have had trouble with it and you tried adding another number or deleting the number, WhatsApp number, and adding it again, you might have experienced some troubles. I do have an, a debugging article for you that you can read, and I'm going to share it with you during this uh, session. Well, actually, I'm going to uh, link it in the description so you can look at it. Also, in the description, you're going to be able to find uh, how to measure your customer service system. So you see how you're doing with your customer service system. So, and there's also some eBooks there to help you improve your customer service system. Ah, okay, so uh, let's do this. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to walk you through the process. So let's take it from the top. Okay, you should be able to see my screen any moment now. Okay, so I'm going to first, uh, yeah, have to log in. <laughs> through to our test account. So what I have done, we go to channels, to e, to messaging, and then we're going to add a channel. Uh, so the idea behind it is to, yeah, um, add our channels, right? You see, I have a long list of uh, widgets here. I'm going to add a WhatsApp channel. Then I'm going to continue to WhatsApp. It's going to open this, open this pop-up for me. It's going to ask me for my business account, which is the Facebook account that I have. Next, next, next. I'm going to choose one of these because I've had of them and created them. And I'm going to choose this, uh, this one, actually, Dominic Rocca. And this is the ID that Meta has created for me. Again, I'm doing it exactly as it is right now. So I'm going to choose this number as I've had before. I'm going to choose uh, giving me a text message. It's, oh man, and I've done this five times before. I have to wait for about seven hours. Um, I it Hopefully it's going to come faster, and it is. And you'll see the, the code did come in about five minutes. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's put it in. And then there's 318-076. All right, next. Okay, just... Just accept it. You're, you're, we, we belong to them now. <laughs> so this is the number and then I click next. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a channel. I'm gonna give it a name that I want, that I like, Dominic Roca. I need to associate it with a brand. I need to not forget this. Okay, so add a channel. I'm going to save this. It's gonna take a moment to verify the account for me. Okay, so this concludes that it's been added. For some reason, it chose another brand. I don't want it for this brand. I want it for, yeah, this one, Kaido. Save again. And now what I need to do is I need to go to, uh, yeah, so this is my, uh, my, my widget. Okay, now it's good. I'm going to go to bots to assign a bot to this, right? So I added my, my widget. Uh, my channel actually now I need to associate a bot with that. So you see, I don't want this brand. I want to choose the one that I chose earlier, Kaido, right? And you and these are the the channels that are available for me to use. Okay, so I'm going to choose uh, the WhatsApp one. Save it. Ignore that error message because that this means that the this widget are somewhere else. 
use. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go to WhatsApp. I have this uh, telecom, this is what the name that I gave it. I'm going to say hello and see if the bot works. You should fam be familiar with this uh, already maybe. Um, this is the flows that I have in the bot. As you'll notice that there's a, a bit of an upgrade from Meta and how it looks like. Uh, look, this looks much nicer actually. If you remember in, in the past, you used to type, have to type. Now you can actually have buttons and these looks much neater and nicer. And I like that a lot. Uh, so yeah, look, this, uh, it's still showing me messages and, uh, and the buttons. If I want to buy, for example, I'm going to transfer to an agent. That's how I built the flow, but it still doesn't allow me to have a form. So I have this now. Right, it says thank you for your details, but this is as if I have collected the name and uh, email address of this customer. So now if I go to, to uh, Zendesk and I go to support, I should be able to see the ticket in uh, queue. Well, it's going to load up and up, oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, this is the WhatsApp channel that it's coming from. This is my conversation that I had which is great. I'm just going to answer quickly just to do this demo to show you how it works. As you can see, my WhatsApp channel has been updated in that tab. Now I'm going to just apply a macro real quick. It's irrelevant just, um, just for you to see that you can create templates with macros in the agent workspace. All right, so this has been sent. So I'm having a blah, blah. Let's assume that uh, this answers my question. I'm not going to delve too deeply into this. I just I'm just doing it very quickly, so I show you, I'll show you that it works. Oh wait, I, I need to choose a reason. Just to ignore that. Anyways, so I wanted to do this quick connection for you, and yeah, it still asks me for feedback. Good, it gave it a good experience, so I gave I gave it some uh, feedback, and that's great. Okay, cool. So this is uh, this is done. I'm happy with it. Okay, now, as I have mentioned, uh, I do have something for you, which is um, me sharing that debugging article that, uh, that I have. And um, I'm going to please uh, ask you to have a bit of patience with me. I have it here. Where is it? Ah, uh, doo doo doo. What you have to be mindful of is um, what I had to do uh, because I had my WhatsApp set up in Zendesk and then um, I had it set up for a demo and it worked very, very fine. But then I deleted it and wanted to do it again to install it again so I'd be able to do this video. I, I went to hell and back to be able to debug this and do it again. I'm sure that you guys, some of you will have this uh, this problem and this article will be useful for you. What I had to do is I had to uh, reset the verification codes or the 2FA, two-factor authentication code. I had to reset this, so deactivate it essentially, follow the steps in here. And then I went in and I just deleted the WABA number, the WABA number, the WhatsApp for business number, WhatsApp for business account, WABA. So I had to delete, delete that uh, uh, along with the number. Now, what this happened is, is it freed up the space for me to go into Zendesk and add it again and was able to successfully install it again. So Jesus, that took, I don't know, it took a while. It took about two weeks to do to figure out, to be honest. Um, not combined time, but it's like uh, in the space of realizing what it did, what it needs to be done and also being banned by Meta because Meta for some reason flagged me as doing something illegal and then banned me for a number of days to, <laughs> to make this work. So yeah, anyways, hope this was helpful for you and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, dear community. Ciao, bye.